best thing to do is watch two things, which is not ideal if you're here for the open house, but we did do that yesterday. We did do that yesterday and I did a good job yesterday flipping around. So maybe that's just what today has to be as well. I like EXAS and I like TRIP and I really don't have a preference. They both rate the same. I don't know if they both are gonna work, so I think we have to watch do things. Um, definitely don't think it's a good idea to go long today. Um, Carlos, I did get your email, I'll write you back. RRGB, I don't like better than these other two gaps, but I'll flip and look at that one if for some reason these other two things don't set up. I mean, there's plenty to look, to, look at today. There's plenty, plenty, plenty. That's 100% true. Um, I don't think this is gonna fall off the planet here though immediately, this uh, hard robin. So, let's have trip up as a main one and the EXAS in the middle. You are going to have to know what I'm looking at here Let's have trip first and EXAS in the middle. And if for some reason these don't do anything I like, then I will go to the Red Robin. But I, I don't think Red Robin is one to be aggressive on. Be careful today. Uh, the market could go either way here. We'll talk about the market when we're done. And I really wouldn't worry about the market right now for these gaps. Everything is spready today. Is trip going here? Okay, EXAS is backing up, trip is backing up. Well, we might be doing Red Robin. Just, just be patient. There's no reason to get caught in anything. There's no reason to get crazy. We have plenty of time today. Plenty of time. All right, I'm moving EXAS off. I don't like the way that looks there. All right, so I'm watching Red Robin for now. Everything is really spready, people. I don't know if this hits, and I really wouldn't jump the gun, but we could do 19, and this is a big stop, 19 by 95. Oops, no, that's not going to hit. That's not going to hit. Wait, there'll be a different entry. Don't do that if it hits. It's not going to hit. Just wait. Wow, look at that. That was a monster stop. All right, trip is going. I wouldn't have done it there. Let's see what we can get. All right, I'm watching now Red Robin and trip. This is this hit, this hit, but there's no way I would have done it there. So let's just see if we can find a way in trip or Red Robin. Wow, that was really something. I'd EXAS be off of it. This still has a possibility here. So I'm watching Trip now and Red Robin, and I don't know which one we're going to do. Okay, let's do Red Robin as long as it doesn't flip over 37. Trip is already going. We missed it, but there's no way I would have done that. Stop would have been like two and a half bucks. 
shoot, maybe this one over 37. Crap, I don't know if we're gonna get anything today. Here, let's look at the market. Put any ideas you have in the room. Trips going, I'm gonna try to find a way in. I don't like EXAS now. And Red Robin pushed back over 37. I'm not completely off of it, but. We could we could we could short the market. That's what we could short, but the cues is a different story. Nope, don't like this. Those of you that are putting this in here, I don't like this. I like trip. I like trip. I do like trip. I just it just it hit. It went. I honestly don't think I would have done it or called it in there with that stop. Let's see if we can find an entry in this. Let's not give up on it. Let's not give up on this at all. Let's not give up on our day. Um, this. This does look very tempting. watching trip and red robin the fnd i don't like don't do it don't do that don't do xas just wait here we're, we're not missing anything nothing has done anything at all it's only 9 34. <clears throat> I didn't like F and D. If it's set up, do it on your own. I did. I just looked at it. I didn't like it. <clears throat> this is not going to be a small stop, but it's late. So fifty fifteen. Let's do ninety nine by fifteen. This is a dollar fifteen, and it's still smaller than the original. And if we get a better entry, then then we do. Uh, this is trip short. If it hits 99 by 15 is a dollar 15. It's not small, but the original one wasn't small. If we get a better entry, I'll call it. Um, maybe we will. It didn't hit here. I don't think it hits in this bar anyway, so maybe we will get something tighter. F FNND, if it went, you're on your own. I didn't like it, or obviously I would have called it or done it or looked at it. Okay, 99 by 15 is valid. Maybe we'll get something better. No, this puppy just doesn't want to go yet. This probably goes on a later, higher time frame. Trip is all we got. <clears throat> if we're being very patient, it's going to pay off. So just don't worry. Let this rally, let it rally. We'll get a better entry, let it rally. No one should be in it. It didn't hit the numbers. I wouldn't have done it out of the gate. If you're in something else and you're up, great. Okay, trip. We're gonna do trip. I don't know where, I don't know when. This is gonna work. We'll see where we go. 48 is the target. We just have to wait and we're being very patient and this is a good This is a good idea. All right, so let's see if it holds 51. It didn't hold 50, didn't really matter. Didn't really matter. Stock's gonna be 51.10. There's nothing in this, it's small. 87 by 10. 
Jeez Louise, 87 by 10 short trip. 87 by 10 short trip. If you don't know what I mean, we'll go over it later, just watch. It's roughly a buck 20-ish. This is probably it. Target's two bucks away from here. stick on something here today we're not going to get anything at all so let's just stay on top of this in fact we can do 99 if it hits up here get it there oh it fell already just get it don't worry about where we get filled just take it and get the stop in it wasn't small anyways get the stop in 51 51 15 let's put it at 51 15 trip that was probably it Market's rallying in the queues. I don't think this buy holds. It'll be interesting to see. Leave that be. What did this do here? Nope. Wow. Jeez Louisers. All right. Let's see what happens with this. I don't want to give it any more room. So 51.15 is the stop and trip. This is a little bit wild. It broke. First it said 87, 88, 89, then it said take it under 50, then it just hit, it's under 50 now. I don't think it matters, we waited, this looks good. Do it if you want it, I don't see anything else. I'll look at FND, this did go, but I didn't really like it, where did it go? Let's look. It dropped. I don't like the way it set up. There's something about this I didn't like. It was the way that it was trading. I'm seeing it now, it's because it was too thin. I think that's what I didn't like about it. There really wasn't a proper entry here. You would have really just had to short it and put a stop somewhere. I'm sure some of you people did it. If you did it, I'd definitely be out. Let's stick with trip. Chip can fall off a planet today, 49, 48, 47 something. And I'm not saying I'm gonna be in this all day at all, no matter what anyways. Um, but here, here are the targets. Here, here this goes. Here, trip, you gotta be in it now. You have to be in it. I gave you a million different chances. You gotta be in it. Here, here's the targets. Boy, we were very patient with this. I'm really glad that we were because that, that was it. And, you know, you don't want to take a stop in something just because you don't feel like being patient. I am surprised that none of these other things have gone. This even looked like it was going to go. What did the other one do? Nope, it just was strange and weird. And let's look at when. Win went quick, fast, then no follow through. Uh, we would have had to be all over top of win out of the gate. I don't think I would have done that either. Wow, it doesn't look like anything today was smooth and clean and fast and quick like yesterday and the other days. But you know, that's fine. We waited a little bit, we're in it. I think this is solid. Um, I really don't want to give it any more room, but I see the spread changing here. Let's just kind of play it by ear. I think this should just keep going down, not back up at all, though. We'll go over this when we're done. For those of you that keep writing FND that did it, we'll go over that when we're done, but there really wasn't a proper entry. I know what I didn't like about it. I didn't like the way it was trading. Here, trip, trip already to Burries. Trip advisor, if you're in it, here it goes. Let's watch and let's, crap, should we get out? the low I do not feel like trading all day today that is one thing for surely and even though I'm here I just don't want to trade all day Where's the low 
4870. Let's see if we can get it down. Let's see if we let's see if we can get it down and see if we can get it down with a flush through there and call it a day. Wherever it is, whatever the number is, I don't care. Anything positive through the low with a flush. And we're out. Um, okay, who did what? MGM, I don't even think I'll, oh that was the sympathy one with Wim. Which I did I didn't look at this at all, I'm sorry. Seeing this now. Um doofa doofa doo. Oh, Tesla. Quickly look at that then. Oh yeah, yeah. This was look at that. Wow, this looks scary looking. Whew. Kept us safe today. Uh, Tesla. Today was a weird day because the market gapped down. And so that was unusual. I guess some kind of tariff thing, as it were. Um, and But it's a sign, which we will discuss, of the lack of fall that we're going to see this summer, which I said in April. I said it in April. I said it on TV. I won't be wrong. I, I will be right. The market in the S&P doesn't look like it's going to have any follow through higher this summer, which we only got another month left. But, you know, we did that breakout. We did that breakout and then we slumped. And I'll look at the chart and show you, but that wasn't a good sign. And I talked about it in the room and we got over the number, but see how tricky it is sometimes? that concerns me about this is if we have the stop at the right place because of the spread. We're not doing this more than once though, I'll tell you that. Here's what I think we should do. Let's compromise with ourselves and give it 51.30. And the only reason I'm doing that, it's 15 cents where we put it, is we're not doing another trade in it. We're gonna give it a chance. I don't wanna get dinged out just because it does a taily thing with the spread. I don't think it's going to go anywhere near there, but let's just do it because we're not doing any other trades today. If you want to stick with it, put it at 51.30, do or die. And if you didn't do it, you could do it again here or do it at all. Um, I'll call it in the five minute. It's just not ready yet, but I do like the weakness in that compared to the market. And I'm not sure this market holds here. I'm just really not sure of that at all. And this is just taking a few more seconds. Uh, those of you that did this, I, you know, you could just be done. Okay, here we go. Today, today. to see what the stock would have been in here I just I mean this did this did actually go pretty big when you look at it it was a dollar it was about, about buck 50 now it wasn't one R though but I think if we had done this we absolutely would have gotten out because the stop is just so big here I don't even know where I would have put the stop it's just it's hard to say now but it would have been big Any questions from anyone? Is anybody in this? Is anybody doing anything at all? Some some of you did the FND. You didn't have any patience for trip. FND really didn't have any setup that was proper. It did open and fall. If you did that, you could stop for the day. Um, if you are in this, you're waiting. Jesse didn't do anything. Okay.
right, let's go over the gap. Let's go over the gap since we have to talk it through to ourselves. It's 948. It'll give us all conviction. What do we like about the gap? Write it in the room. What do you see here? What do you think is going to happen? Where do you think it's going to go? Do you think it's going to flip, get bought, go from green to red? What do you think it's going to do? What do you think? Do you like it? Do you not like it? What's happening here in trip? Look at the chart. Let's talk it through. Because that's what we did yesterday in, uh, whatchamacallit, I can't even think, cake. That's what we did yesterday in cake, and it helped everyone. What do you think about this here? What do you like? Steven didn't do anything either. Oh, two people did nothing today. Does anyone like anything about trip or only me? I was the only one that liked cake yesterday. Let's see what that's doing today. This did try to break yesterday's low. This is still weak. Wow, look at cake. Vincent is saying, do you think it's a large gap? Do you? Market's red. Market's not red. I don't think this is a big gap. I could see how you could say that. So this is lower and people are trying to buy it here that are probably day traders, but not institutions. So that's why we like it, which nobody wrote. But you can see here that this is being sold off today. The control is not for the people that are trying to buy this into the support, into the dip. That is an idiotic thing to do. We discussed it before. We even talked about it in Netflix, even though Netflix didn't work out right on the day, but then fell later. So you, we have day traders here that are buying the trip after the drop off into the support. And at $50 or the area it's struggling right now that we haven't broken yet, but we're in it short. And why? Because it's a short, because institutions are selling this today and we trade with institutional money. We don't trade with day traders because they do stupid, idiotic things like buying trip, which would be really dumb to do today. So either this works as a short, which it is right now, or we don't do anything at all, but we're in it and it looks really good. And actually this probably collapses under the low because people went along there and they're stuck is under 49, under 48.70. So we got to give it a chance to at least hold there. If you didn't do it, you could do it. It's confirmed now in every time frame, and it looks great. And this can go a big, big lot. And here it goes. What a nice call. <clears throat> I don't seriously think that I would have done the first one. So don't worry about it. We're getting in here, and this is a better stop than the original one anyways. But if I had watched this, we might have done it, but I don't think I would have. Here, trip. Here, it's almost a dollar. You had to be in it. I'm so happy when I'm right. I'm also very tired and I'm starting to OD on uh, energy shots. <laughs> These five hour energy things I am chugging for survival. <laughs> and I will soon be past the maximum dosage allowed. Um, let's look at the market. <laughs> Okay, trip. You can be tight with it now if you want. You can scale out of some if you want. You can take a little bit out. You can bar by bar it. We can go over cake later if we have time, but I really want to go over the market for one, and I really want to go over um, tonight's gaps. We could maybe go over cake tomorrow. We could do a... a, a a review tomorrow of everything we did this week or something. Here, cake trip. So let's look. 4945, 4926, 4930. I was going to do a video on cake and then I just 
I just got tired of doing other stuff. Maybe I'll do a video on cake then. Uh, here's the market. Let's look at Tesla. Tesla is trying to go higher for the first time in its life for a very long time here. The stock is trying to rally. I did not call an option in this. It's starting to look like it might work, but it's so, I don't know here. This is just, I'm not 100% on this one. Obviously, or I would have called it here. Trip. Okay, let's see what's out for tonight. Everyone should be good. We really did the right thing today. We absolutely did the right thing today. And I'm really happy we did the right thing today. looking up to see what's out tonight, but let trip keep dropping. AIG is tonight. Uh, my phone keeps going off. Let's see what else is tonight. Go daddy. Nuss. I don't really like anything tonight. I don't, oh, T2. I don't really like anything here tonight. Let's look at tomorrow morning. Um, tomorrow's Friday. Groupon. Nothing, I don't know what we're gonna do tomorrow. Nothing screams like this. Oh, Dish. Dish is tomorrow morning. I don't, I don't know what we do tomorrow. It could be a no-namer. I just wanted to see if there was anything out that was significant. Does anyone have any questions at this moment? Right now. Rich is saying, how long should you trade on a demo until you trade with live money? There is no hard and fast rule. There's no hard and fast rule. I think you gotta get used to the platform before you do a live trade. So that's number one. Obviously these trades set up fast. Now today actually was not that fast. Today was not a fast trade. Um, but sometimes we do the fast ones. And so you need to practice for at least a week. But if you can get the hang of it in a week, then you could be up and running. But if in a week's time, you realize that you're not getting the hang of it, then, then be in a demo for a month. I mean, it's really different for everybody. Hold on, I have to pay attention here. Where is this going? 49.15, What that problem is, hold on. All of a sudden, that just happened out of nowhere. Oh, I see what happened here. So there we have it. So this was last night. Look at that, you stinker. So we just got to bounce there. Look, people are trying to buy it in here. This is a stupid day traders are trying to buy it here from the pre-market low last night. That's what's happening here. Ugh, I gotta pay attention to this. This is, this is moving very fast and I got distracted for a second because I was so calm. Did anybody get out down there? Did anybody get out at all down there? I don't want to move off of it at all. Oh, Galahad got out. Koala Bear got out. Jesse's going to work. Duvaz got out too. Who's still in this? Trend Traders out as well. I thought you did the FND. Triple seven still in it. Uh, Chris, if you want a referral for a broker, email me and I can send you a referral. You can trade wherever you want though. There's, you can trade wherever you want that where you can short stocks, where you can get charts and you can take a position as a day trade. Um, Vincent is saying that Rich should, 
practice for three months. <laughs> That's a long time. Is that how long you practice, Vincent? I guess if that's what it takes for you to feel comfortable. Shoot, well, I didn't even have time to think. I looked across, I wanted to see the tonight's list. And, and literally, like, that wasn't even a 60 seconds. This, this, this flipped up, like, in 10 seconds. It was less than that. It was like, uh. I think everybody is different as far as the time you need to practice. I think everyone is different, and I think everyone has different issues when they start, and everyone has uh, things that they're good at that's different. There's a window washer behind me if you hear a noise, <laughs> just so you know. <laughs> They're washing the windows today. Um, like some people have trouble with sizing, some people don't. Some people have trouble getting the trades as fast as I do, some people don't. Some people just have to get used to the, the doing the shorts versus the longs. I mean, uh, I think that, I think some people in here over trade and I try to do one thing, I, you know. I think that you gotta start to do it you see what you're good at. You see what you need to, you know, more discipline with. Um, you don't, you don't know till you do it, and that's why I encourage people to just get going because you really don't know. <laughs> There's a learning curve in everything you do. The learning curve could be small, it could be short, it could be long, it could be whatever, whatever it is, it is. As long as you're moving forward and you're learning, then you're making progress. You have trouble with what, Stephen? I didn't understand the word you wrote. This is sitting here and I don't know why. I'm not sure I would have gotten out of it though there. I mean, that bar moved so fast, so quick. Even if I had noticed it, I probably would have gotten filled in half the bar. I mean, that was all the way down. It was almost a dollar. It looked great. I, I think we got to hang on. If you're in this, be, I look, there's nothing wrong with this. It just, had that bar out of nowhere but i still love it and it hasn't set up again in the 15 minute and you know i i see what it did i see what it did i see the people that came in and tried they're trying to hold it up but i don't think that one green bar supports the stock today um so but now it's 10 o'clock so i kind of wish i was out just for the time of the day and that did have a move down but it looked good and it was almost a dollar you have trouble with prediction You mean knowing what the gap's gonna do? Is that what you're saying? Ooh, look at eBay. Who's still in the eBay put? eBay definitely had the drop. Is anybody still in that? I'm sitting here and I'm waiting. Does anyone have any questions they want to ask me? There's nothing else I can do but wait. A lot of you did get out of that down in there. I don't know how you, you did it so fast. Very obvious here now though that day traders are attempting to buy it or it wouldn't have had that bounce right at that level. Um, it needs to keep going down and get back down near the low, but I don't know what time that is. So I think the market, which has continued up since it opened this morning, we've bounced this morning and held. I don't know if we hold all morning though. So the SPY is coming into the resistance. The question is, is it gonna blow on through it? It's 280. Is it gonna blow on through it? If we do, we can power trend all day in the market, which would be very surprising. Um, 
time of the day is 10 o'clock. Hair trick. Oh my lid. Teeth. Ah. Is anyone still in this? Steven has trouble predicting and I'm very good at it. Maybe I should become a psychic. I could start a psychic television show. <laughs> Everything is rejecting me. And you could all come on in as guests and I could predict if you're going to be good traders. I could predict the future <laughs> of trip. Here it goes. What a great call. So if you got out of it, fine. You made money. If you're still in it, you're going to get the big move. Here it is under the low. What a nice one as well. Under 49, then 48.70. The window washers were good luck. Shower singer still in it. He deserves to get paid. We can go over the train when we're done, Main. You may have missed the whole thing. You missed the eBay put, Jackie? No, I would not. I would not do it now. I would I would not enter eBay short as a put now. No, it's too late. You missed the trade. It was days ago. It was Monday. <laughs> it's way too late to do that. <clears throat> way too late. I just can't motivate myself to call this long at all. I don't think it's going to hold. I know it looks like it's holding, and it does look like it's holding, and it's trying to hold it. It's green, and the market's green too, but I don't have any motivation or any conviction that this is going to go anywhere, and I just don't. So no options trades today because I don't see anything that makes any sense. Um, and we are at the situation same situation here 4905 if we get out here we have a good day if we hold it it could push back again <laughs> if we hold it it could drop another dollar All right, let's go over it because main came in late or somebody came in late we'll go over it I'm, I'm trying to stick it through here but it looks like it, it could try to lift up again it might do this at every point see here 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 it might do it again at the low anyways great call on this perfect call on this i said originally i said 99 or no i said 89 89 87 and then i started to see it i said just take it take it wherever it got filled so everybody probably got a different price in here i saw it breaking under 50 and I said just get, grab it but anyways in here was the call so it is I mean you could have got out down there if you if you held it through right around 49 but it looked like it was going to break the low so it was almost a dollar two minutes ago but I under the low is 48 something My targets in trip I wrote in the room you can look above or remember I said that's not I'm not even worried about that right now remember that's what I said I said let's get it through the low and get a flush and get out that's what I said 15 20 minutes ago I still think the same now we're gonna get it we're gonna get it don't worry about the numbers necessarily it's it got to the first number it's there right now get out if you want to get out at the first target it's 49 but I'm you know these are these are things where if you got to get going get out if you can stay a little bit longer, I don't know what time it hits through, but we're very close. I do not want to be in this till noon today, though. I, that's for sure. And I do like it, though, here. 49.04. <clears throat> Market isn't holding this up. 
this wouldn't be right at all today if it needed the market. We'd look for things individually that have nothing to do with the market. We'd be, we wouldn't be up money in the short if it had anything to do with the market at all. The market's been power trending since the open, since the second minute of the day. So I look for things that are on their own. If the market was falling off a planet, trip might be already at 47, but that's not the case and we don't need it. Either this goes and works today because it goes, it's nothing to do with the market or it doesn't. I don't even know if the market comes in at all today, at all. It's 10.08. We look like we're trying to get over that area. The market is attempting to hold. I don't know if it does. I'm not worried about it. It doesn't affect me. That's one of the nice things about doing what I do. I don't have to worry about the market. This did not get under that number again. We can power trend all day in the market. I think this is worth trying to get it down, but if you want to get out here, just get out. It's a buck, almost. The market isn't holding this up, people are buying it. People are buying it, but you see that this is so stupid. People are trying to buy it into the support. This looks so good though. This looks really juicy. At some point, at some time, at some point today, this is gonna just collapse, and I don't know if we're gonna get it or not, because I am running out of patience. I certainly am. It's 10.09, but it does look like it's seconds away from happening, doesn't it? It does, doesn't it? Anyone have any other questions? I don't wanna look at anything else other than this. Some of you did this in F FND. That was very crazy of you to do two things, but if you did, you're up. Here it goes, Trip. You would think this four cents is like a hundred miles away. <laughs> Actually, it's it's 25 cents because under the low is now it's 30. It's 48.70. Yeah. You would think. The other reason I think that this is okay to hold it because the stop was a little big. So here, trip. I think this is one of these ones where try to see if you can hold it. All right, because of the fact that it was a big stop. See what Apple's doing today. Apple is unfreaking believable. Is anyone still in the Apple option, which you certainly could have did yesterday and got out yesterday, and it's almost at the second target. This is crazy. Is anyone still in the Apple option? Write it in the room. 205 was the next target. It might have even gotten there this morning. I forgot about looking at this. Let's look. So I think it was perfectly fine if you did and got out yesterday. It went to the first number. This is gonna to go to 205 today. This is helping the market rally. Yep, so Apple is getting bought. That is absolutely 100% lifting the market. And that is what is happening here today. Cause I was like, wait a minute, this market, this is there, it's a 204, wow. Here we go, trip. This is it, wherever it goes, this is it. It just broke 49 and Apple is lifting the market and that was another good call and I hope somebody's still in it. Here. Stop was originally 51.15. We gave it a little bit more room then. It's not going to matter. And it was really only because of the spread. Here, trip, 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 trip. Is anybody still in it besides Shower Singer? Here, what a nice call. Here, remember, we're going to get the flush. Here it goes. Oh, yeah. Beautiful, great job, everybody. See if it breaks 50. I'm so good. Here, out, 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 out. I don't wanna be in it any longer, I don't care. Great trade. If you're still in it, you can try to hold it down to 48. That's exactly what I wanted to do. I followed my plan of action. I did what I said I was gonna do. I held it down. 
I don't want to be in it any longer. It could, you could still be in it, but I'm not sitting through another bounce, and I'm not sitting in it through a bounce over 49. You could bar by bar it. It was a great trade. Thank you. Thank you very much. You could bar by bar it if you want. If you're still in it, you truly believe it's going to go straight down. Otherwise, you may suffer through another bounce. Great job, everyone. Mountain Girl said you are so good. Thank you. I know. Yay! And I was on the fence because this one here I thought could possibly do something, but then I saw right away it was off. I just didn't like it. And we could have gotten trapped in this. And whatever happened to this thing? All right. That's it. What do you want to go over? What do you want to go over? What do you want to talk about? Great day. Everyone should be up. If you're still in it, you think it's going crazy down. Uh, Apple, watch the trade today. Apple could have a three-day move up. For those of you that are still in the Apple option, it could, it could go right up to 208, 208, 207. That is, I mean, that's not insane. You got another week left. If you're still in trip, it's going to try to break 50. It didn't, so I said, you know what, I'm out. But look, here it is. It's back down again at 51. Here, it's going to try to break it. It's going to do it. If you got out where I did, that's perfect. If you get out earlier, that's fine. It was a great call. I don't use any of the things you're talking about at all, Rich. I just use this stuff right here and my brain. I just use my brain as the indicator. <laughs> my brain is the best indicator that I own and it's free. And it doesn't cost me a thing. All right, any questions from anyone? This is still going. Oh, it looks like it, I thought it was gonna break there. Nope, it didn't even, look. I'm saying bar by bar this if you're still in the trade on the one minute chart, but that you're giving back a lot if you do that. If you do it on a five, this whole bar here would take it over at 49. It's 49.09. That's way too much profit to give back. This was the move. We got it perfectly. We couldn't have gotten any perfectly more perfectly than we did. So. Any questions from anyone? Okay. Good start to the month of August. Great start to the month of August. Thursday. We got one more day. Uh, class this weekend for August. I have 100,000 things on my plate, so I'm glad we're out and done. Does anyone want to go over anything at all? <laughs> Koala bear, you're funny. Listen, have a good day. If you're in the Apple trade, you must decide today if you're getting out or if you're going to hold it for one more day, you must decide. And then I think I'm leaving the Tesla alone. I'm just leaving it be. In fact, it's almost completely flipped down now. Wow. Just walk away. Have a good day. And I will see everybody tomorrow. You're welcome. <laughs>